in the Big Ten. And we are underway. And a quick kneel down, first down of 10. J.K. Dobbins is the single setback. They send him out in motion to the right. All sorts of time for Bell, and it's intercepted! It's picked off right away! Intercepted Amani Hooker! Pick six! Eight seconds into the game! And the extra point is on the throw the ball left. You're going to see right here, the safety hooker just reads the, the eyes of JT Barrett. He's coming back for his last read, and I don't think he saw him at all, Steve. And what a play to start this game from a 14-0. This team has been tested. They know how to respond. Second possession coming for the Buckeyes, and Mike Weber will return. Weber stumbles out to the second offensive snap for Ohio State in the game. And Barrett will keep it. Let's come in here. We asked Josie Jewell just about that. He said, no doubt. Here's Barrett on the left, throwing and completed for a short game. See a mouthpiece pop free. Talent, he gave it all the fans, all the love on third and one. First down, it's Barrett, the ball carrier. Offense is to communicate. Something to keep an eye on for Ohio State today. Got the first down. That should settle things down. Here's Barrett, the ball carrier again. Off the play fake. I think offense really, why they're different than they were against Oklahoma earlier in the year. On second and short, there's Barrett to throw. And it's a wide open K.J. Hill. Hill has become the go-to guy. And you're going to see, when you get guys that wide open, usually it's because of the run fake in the backfield and J.T. Barrett having to run the ball three times in a row. On first down and ten. Here's Barrett to throw. Middle of the field, end zone all alone is Terry McLaurin for the touchdown. Making that look easy. Extra point. On the way, it is good, of course. He's made some changes. And they go to the true freshman, Blake Hawbill, to kick it off. Ivory Kelly Martin will take a knee. The ultimate without Iowa's offense, stepping foot on the field. Here's their first snap with possession. And Stanley comes out throwing. And overthrow. This line is anchored by the senator, James Daniels. He's got to get this crew going today. Second down of 10. Akram Wadley's first catch. Sideline, and he'll be knocked out by Jordan Fuller. Akram Wadley rips off. He's really come on as the season has progressed. And a little bit of a hard count. Offside defense, number 86, five yard penalty for step. Play fake. Stanley to throw. He's in some trouble now. And he'll get rid of it and sail out of the... No foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. Number 35. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. First down and 10. Stanley to throw. Lost one a little too high for no... Not the same tendencies we've seen the last few years. Pitch to Wadley. They try the left side off the side. He's able to turn the corner. And gets slammed out at the 19. And five. Here's Stanley to throw. Good protection. Lays it out perfectly, and they have the first down. And it is. That's him in a slot to the right. On the ground to Wadley. You get a first down still. Stanley had it batted up in the air and nearly intercepted. Draymond. Third and eight. Nick Eastley in motion. Looking right. Throwing right. Trying to go back shoulder. Denzel Ward able to knock it away from Matt. And is playing at a really high level. Here's Miguel Racinos on to attempt a 30-point field goal. It is up and it is good. It's become a huge sensation. Here's Mike Weber from the eight for Iowa State. Excellent kick coverage by Iowa. Pick on the opening snap. And he has settled down nicely on that last drive. 
And they face a three-point deficit. Out to J.K. Dobbins. He, uh, he's got to get this defense going here against Ohio State's potent offense. Second and three. Here's Dobbins again, the true freshman, and he's brought down. Includes Michael Jordan, who's starting at the left guard for the Buckeyes. Here's third and one. Yeah, we'll get a timeout. Third and one. Dobbins to the right of Barrett. Barrett's going to keep it and pick his spots. He has the first down. Ohio State in the run game, too. He's almost flawless. Play fake. Barrett to throw this time. And complete to Marcus Ball. Pretty great games. Such a big weekend in college football. First down and 10. It is November, after all. Here's Dobbins. Turn of the corner with speed. J.K. Dobbins finally knocked out. Right angle to get him down. Here's Barrett, right up the middle. Down to the 21. Out of Iowa. Mike Weber's in the backfield now. They sent him out. Split him out, top of your screen. Rushing four. They get there, but they can't get Barrett. There is a flag down. Barrett's on the run. And he will head for the sun. Offense, number 78. 10-yard penalty. Second down. Have been an issue for Ohio State. Eight most penalty yards per game. In the FBS, to make it second and 14. Here's Barrett. He'll turn the corner. Has some running room. Got the first down and then some. Hey, that looked pretty. Weber and Dobbins have taken the lead from that. Handoff. It's Dobbins. Inside of that play, Ohio State's had a big edge. And moving up and down the field. I was okay with them moving the ball. It's just trying to keep them out of the end zone. They could force a field goal attempt here. I think they'd be pretty happy. Dobbins, the running back, split out to the left. Here's Barrett to throw. Looking for the middle of the end zone. It was knocked the side. X. Rushing four. End zone, back of the end zone. It is juggled. Ben Victor could not bring it down. At a 27-yard field goal to tie the game all the way and it is good and that was close in conference play ivory kelly martin will return it for iowa and he's out until the night have to snap it and on first down and ten is akram wadley good run to start the perfect first down run them uh, with the first down yardage so they move the sticks off the play fake Stanley to throw across the middle. Nick easily took a big shot, but he's got the first down. He should not receiver. They're going to play against man to man. There'll be some opportunities. Throwing again on first down. Are you sure we're watching Iowa here? It's black, but Stanley's jersey might be clean. I'm not sure they put a lick on him yet. Here's second and five. Draw play to Wadley. Bring up a third and short commercial. You won't be disappointed. Third and two, looking right. Out of the flat, it's Wadley's got the first down. Everyone on our team will get a lot more attention. And that's the goal. Get it down. Here he is again. And that's another shot, but that's me. I thought a second and short on there. Is four considered short? I think it's short. <laughs> Once you go five, that's a whole different story. They're going to keep it on the ground. He's got a yard right here as well. On third and short, Wadley, very close. We'll see where they spot the forward. Extra yardage here he needs. Wow, that is tight. First play of quarter number two off the play fake. Nick Stanley taking a shot. Able to hook up a fans this point first and goal hand off to Wadley like back to the line of scrimmage got some pressure around his legs able to hit his man for the touchdown Iowa back on top 
Extra point on the way. And 17-10 is the score. This will raise some eyebrows across the country. Here's Mike Weber out across the 20 and of the 24 at Nan Burke. Here's JT Barrett and the Ohio State offense. And on first down, he'll hand off to Weber, the kick returner. Hand off to Weber again. And he should have first down points in the second quarter. I think they realize it. Little option pitch to Weber. Cut it to the outside and then dive in. Again, very close. Obliterating their opponent. This is Ohio State's quarter. Second and one. They got to each other. And they've seen a couple of drives and now they can adjust. Bill Parker said one of the keys would be to keep those explosive plays by the opponent to a minimum. K.J. Hill, his side. Barrett will keep it. Make a few people miss, he'll take a shot. Four to snap it. Get it off in time, here's Barrett. Off the play fake. Throwing down the middle of the field, it's Johnny Dixon! He was in motion and he's in the end zone for six. 44 yard strike. You know, you roll out here, I think they were in a legal formation, and if they don't get in the right formation, this comes back, but the speed of Johnny Dixon, we saw it last week against Penn State. You can use that can run with Johnny Dixon with a free release. Extra point. Right down Broadway. 17-17. With Iowa about to get the football. Ivory Kelly Martin. Good look at what that Ohio State kick coverage team was. He's halfway on the field, and the official didn't get him off. I was wondering it might have been a warning on the play. Here's Nate Stanley to throw. Over the second down and ten with James Butler being featured on this series. Third and nine. Nate Stanley to throw down the sideline. And overshot his intended target. Zell Ward is the player who blocked the punt a week ago that led to the, really the amazing comeback over Penn State. KJ Hill. Item on the menu is the pie shake. Yeah, they put the whole cherry pie piece in this shake. It's supposed to be impossible to drink through a straw. Hand off to Mike Weber. Ball came out, and I think Weber got it back. Michael Jordan was there in this game because you can feel the momentum swinging towards Ohio State. Second and five. Barrett will keep it. Short of eight. In the game, it will be called upon. Steps into a big spot, too, on third down and one. It's like half a yard they need. Handoff to Dobbins. I don't think he got there. J.K. Dobbins. Draw. The two inexperienced offensive linemen now. And there's no safety back for Iowa. They are budget. They are banking on JT run the ball. Barrett taking his time and he's got the first down. But he got the one he was on the field. Michael Jordan at the big kickout block there to get the first down. Now Barrett throwing to KJ Hill. Second down and ten. They're across midfield. Here's Barrett, doesn't feel the backside pressure, loose football, it's out. Ben Neiman knocked it out. 19, and Iowa got the sideline winner. Barrett looked to his left. He'll throw. And let's see, did he grab it off the turf? They'll say incomplete. Looking to hit Austin Mack. The punter, on for his first punt of the afternoon. And it's a good one. We'll see where they mark it out of bounds. To Iowa, we're told for the celebration, maybe they spilled onto the field after that sack. Back from Arkham, a ball carrier. And a good first piece so far for Akram Wadley. Stanley rolling to his right and throwing, able to complete for the first down. And Nick, Up over here. Two tight ends in. Hand off to Wadley. And a 
Flag comes in there. Holding offense, number 87. 10 yard penalty, first down. Crowe found a seam down the middle. And a beauty. Able to hit the hook up with TJ Hawkins. It's a gain of 22 to Hawkinson on first down of 20. Erasing the penalty yardage. Here's Stanley again, firing across the middle. And again, it's Hawkinson across midfield. Inside Ohio. Here's Stanley. We'll put it on the ground. And it's a shake is calling a whale of a game so far in the first half here. Second down and eight. It's like working in the family business, right? <laughs> Father-son dynamic is that's something. That's rough. Here Stanley takes a hit as he throws. And the in separate ways ever since. I think that's the right approach. Just got the snap away. Stanley trying to stand tall in the pocket. And he'll just airmail that one out of bounds. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. We're targeting defense number 97. Plays under further review. That's Nick Bosa. Here on the left side of the screen. Boy, Alaric Jackson, the ball's out. And yeah, he hits, he definitely hits with the crown of his helm. Impact on this game, it would have. Arguably their best defensive player. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Number 97 is disqualified for the remainder of the contest. They do have tremendous depth, but there's no replacing Nick Bosa. On first down and 10, taking a shot in the end zone, it is caught! No offense, touchdown! Absolutely perfect play. Perfect. Extra point. There's still a question and losing Bosa. Mike Weber from the six. See the little spark for Ohio State. Flags come flying from all directions as he gets out. Number 47. Ten yard penalty. First down. But first Saturdays, even three minutes to go in the first half. Ohio State starting from their own ten yard line. Barrett will think about it and give it to J.K. Dobbins. Blitz up the middle. Barrett able to throw that way and complete to Dobbins out of the backfield. Cool and calm. That's Barrett directing the traffic. Not there. Flag does come in. Trying to hook up with Ben for 15. 10 yard penalty. Automatic first down. But the other way. I haven't mentioned his name a lot prior to this. Out to that same side. This time it's dropped. Urban Meyer said he, he sold like a 45 year old man in a 22 year old body. He is a mature individual. Got great pocket protection. And it's intercepted down the sideline. It's picked up. Jackson, and he'll be bumped out of bounds. Barrett is intercepted for the second to play. Iowa still has all three timeouts. Handoff is Wadley. He's tripped up, still able to get half as well. Got a chance for two for the price of one. You see, they're both, everybody's pointing at each other now. It's 64 seconds. Start. Offense, number 74. Five yard penalty. Second. <laughs> Similar to the one McShay and I have, as opposed to you and me. 45 ticks to go here in the half. Stanley will check it down and make something out of nothing. Look at this. Akram Wadley. Stanley to throw for it. And a wide open man. Touchdown. It's no offense. Offensively, whether that was Tough Borland or Dante Booker, one of those two guys, 32 or 33, Responsible for the tight end. And Extra point on the way. Going down today, at least seven of them. That's by virtue of the fact that there are seven top 25 matchups across the country. And then the others. Here's Mike Weber. Looked like he nearly had a crease. Some big rivalries when I was playing for the Bears. 
This is a pretty good rivalry game, too. And Ohio State will take a knee. And at least for now, they'll say, Uncle, they need a halftime break. The score. I was going to get the football. they start starting the second half. From the goal line. And flags fly. Stop the five yard line. Holding. Receiving team, number 31. Half the distance to the goal. First down. This whole staff, so much experience at the NFL level. It's not surprising they dug in the archives. That's the 2012 team. And on first down, second and four. Wadley will come up. He should depend on that line. This feels like a big play right here. A minute and 15 into the third quarter. Feels like a big play. Wadley. Oh, it's a big play by Ohio State's defense. Led by Jalen Holmes. Ryan Gersande is back in his own end zone. He'll take his time. And it's a low line drive. He'll take a solid bounce for Iowa. And all K.J. Hill can do is gobble it up. Certainly. Lots of time. It's all there in front of Ohio State. We'll hand off to J.K. Dobbins. Able to break a couple of tackles. And now will be thrown back. To the See if he can continue to anticipate and trust his eyes in the second half. Fakes the pitch. And keep it himself. It's third and three. Barrett's got all sorts of time. And it looks like it was deflected and falls incomplete. I think Budget might have gotten a piece of that football. Drew Chrisman from his own 40. And it's a fair catch. 10. Look at this, an empty set right off the bat. Stanley comes out firing and completing. First down yardage. And it's paid off. Bill Belichick says it. It must be so. Well, he dropped it, but he deflected it, and the defender picked it off. And that's just kind of how it's been for Iowa so far this year. Second and six. Stanley off the play fake. Yeah. Across the middle, has a man. Trusting his protection. As every successful throw comes, he's getting, gaining more and more confidence. Here's Stanley with a man in his face. Able to be patient enough to wait for the receiver. Second and three, just across midfield. With two tight ends in there. Quick throw out to the left. Smith Marset. Two. Stanley in trouble, and it looked to get rid of it. Foul in the play for holding. Fourth down. Pick it up. He's in a little bit of a deeper set. There you go, Greece. Not your first rodeo. And it'll bounce into the end zone. You. And if they're going to get where they want to go, it's going to be because of JT Barrett throwing the ball, in my opinion. Well, running the ball, here's Barrett. Game. Offense, number 73, 10-yard penalty, first down. And you know you have that mismatch in the second half. Here's Barrett to take off. Cross the 15, he'll take some hits and get out to the 20-yard line. Hold the football when they've had it on offense, and they'll try to do the same. Play fake. Barrett throwing on the run and completing the Johnny Dixon out to the 20 on television did not travel today. Here's third and five. Barrett trying to tug at him and finally bring him down short of the marker. Pardon. We are 50 days away from Christmas. <laughs> and a fair catch is called at the 21. Again, interesting to see how I will call this offensively. Sure, they come out throwing again on first down. And incomplete. Quarter number three. Number six in big trouble. Stanley's throwing again. Looked like off a hand, and then a flag comes late. Defense, number 35, 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Ball out at the 37. Back from Wadley. By Stanley, plus, officially. Plus, you can use a hard cap. Net of 27. And here's Stanley on the run. Showing off some more skills. And able to complete. Nonetheless, they give it to him. First and 10. 
Just across midfield. Wadley. Staying on his feet. Making people miss. Akram Wadley. What a run in a play. For the game. Four and a half to play in the third. And Stanley will be taken down. That was the first time they were able to sack Stanley all afternoon. Here's second and 13. Across the middle. And Stanley to throw. And it was in and out. On fourth down. And the pass is caught. Through the ball. <laughs> it didn't look so hot in the air, but Kluver convert. First and goal. Play fake. Stanley. They got him wrapped around the legs. Back in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. It's hot. Extra point is, and that might be the difference in the game to win it. Iowa has scored. The really success of their offense has squeezed the life out of this game. They're, they're eating up the clock every time they get the ball. Here's Barrett to throw. Take a shot deep. He's got a man. It's Terry McLaurin. And he can't come down with it. Field to get back into a game. But that's where the matchup and the mismatch is for Ohio State. Barrett's going to keep it. He's taking a lot. I would tell Josie Jewell to track 16 the rest of this game. Here's third and 10. Barrett all sorts of time. It's knocked out at the line of scrimmage. At the line of scrimmage. Epinesa, whose dad, Epi Epinesa, played for Iowa. Last throw would have been a touchdown, would have been under thrown. So this feels different. Are they throwing on first down again? No. They'll run the football here for now. James, we thought this game would be decided by Ohio State's defensive front against the offensive line of, of Iowa. Maybe it has been, and it's working for the Hawkeyes. James Butler, he's running away from people, and he'll be stopped inside the five by... D Iowa trying to add to their lead. Handoff. It's Butler. He'll be stopped. Standing crew. Second and goal. Iowa State looking to add some more. Off the play fake. Stanley throwing for it. It's caught. Touchdown. It's Drake Kulik. Out of the ball. They gave up the touchdown. They were afraid of this, right? They were afraid of the letdown. After the emotional win from a week ago, how could you not have a letdown? And, and this has been a colossal letdown. Mike Roberts in the three. Holding, receiving team, number one, 10 yard penalty, first down. They say you remember the games in November. And they're watching this game, but the Penn State Michigan State game for sure. Here's Barrett. On the move, throwing down the sideline. The letdown. Illegal forward pass. Offense. Number 16 is beyond the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty. Ross it down. Second. That could even happen to this team. And I, I don't know how else you explain what we're seeing today. After further review, the passer was not completely beyond the line of scrimmage. There is no foul on the play. It is second down at the 13-yard line. Dixon in motion. Second and ten back. All sorts of time. Now he'll launch it. And it is intercepted. Josh Jackson. You're going to have interception. Iowa will take over. Looking to add to their lead. On the ground. I'm saying that's the start of the fourth quarter. We're crying out loud, but I don't know how Iowa State comes back from this. Second and five. Wadley again. They'll come up just short of the at 7 p.m. and every Tuesday going to wrestle away control of the Big Ten. 
and a loss here kind of opens things back up and could quite honestly put the Big Ten in jeopardy of not being in the college football playoff in the final four. Review the Roy on the field stands, fourth down. Center. This time Rastetto will just put it on the ground and hold it. And Rosinos. Best food in the, in the business up here at the Iowa Press Box. Indeed. Ohio State. Why wouldn't they go to Arkansas and play well? Barrett to throw. And even that pass. This game was tied at 17. Long, long, long time ago. Second and ten. It's like a piece of a face mask on Barrett. There are flags down. Holding. Offense. Number 73. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Penalties offset. Replay second. So we'll replay the down. Second down and ten. Here's Barrett. Stepping up and firing at Johnny Dixon. Offense that came in on fire. Barrett on the run to Weber. And a tremendous tackle. Indiana. Barrett throwing and completing the. I don't have, I have a whole lot of answers. At midfield, Barrett, quick screen out to Dobbins. Confident throwing the football coming into today, and all of a sudden he's like he reverted back. Throwing downfield, that was closer to a home. Lanes in the middle of the field against Penn State. Tonight, it's been the opportunity for this defense for Iowa to get interceptions. Only two third down conversions all game for Ohio State. Make it three. Barrett able to knock a defender away and 22 touchdowns, no interceptions. And actually, Tate's been better over the last six. Built for victories on the season earlier, and outside of that Penn State, nothing to brag about. On third and one, Barrett underneath, able to complete. Just have not been there tonight. Ohio State returns next week. They'll be at home against Michigan State. <laughs> Barrett had a notice for them this week, getting their hands up. And there was the magic number, the turnovers. 3 nothing, Iowa. Oh, what a play! Make it 4 nothing, Iowa! Josh Jackson, hat trick! Three interceptions, there is a flag, we'll check the marker. Holding, offense, number 78. Phillies decline, the Jokes plays a touchback. Because they can't make yeah. that catch. Yeah. How's your right. defense number 86 five yard penalty first down off the Ohio State team tonight the from JT Barrett all the way down nine penalties on the Buckeyes penalties were already an issue coming in the eighth most penalty yards in the FBS that number's gonna go up and the football teams right the Cyclones and Hawkeyes what a story Iowa State's been and what a story tonight handoff James Butler for a few and they'll start to state and will they have the energy to rebound after after this loss and play Michigan State that'll be a challenge third and one got the first down James Butler. back starting just a true sophomore and they've got two true freshmen playing at the receiver position a lot of young players here that'll still be playing here next year two years from now there and boy he has been one heck offense number 77 Five yard penalty, second down. On the ESPN app. Second down at 11. It's Butler. He fumbled that ball and it came back to him. He got lucky. And everybody just kind of glossed over that. But that, that those mistakes reared their ugly head again tonight. And they were not. Ryan Drusande is back at his goal line. Look at Drusande. He's going to take off. That's oh, Rostelo, I beg your pardon. Ohio State will take over in excellent field position after the failed fake punt. Barrett to throw. End zone. Johnny Dixon. Touchdown.
touchdown, Buckeye. Josie Jewell knocked it away earlier in the game, but he's not in the game anymore. Go, and we, well, we got our answer. Onside kick. He is recovered cleanly by I Four and a half to play here. 48-24. Hawkeyes leading Buckeyes. And we'll see what's happening. There has not been in three years, there has not been a team make that final four without at least three top 25 wins. Breaking free is Torn Young. Getting big plays from everyone. Torn Young is his Swiss Army knife plays all five positions at right guard and then the two freshmen attack. Mitch Young is impressive tonight. On the ground. It's only a slight exaggeration. And breaking free is Torn Young. Piling on now. Doesn't matter. We're going to continue to run it. Ran it right down their throat. 31 at Iowa. As night falls, I get a sense the party's just about to begin. Security has started lining the field, as you might expect. As if the fans weren't close enough here already, King. Weber will take it. Obviously, JT Bear entered into that Heisman conversation, and he's now out of that. Uh, Saquon Barkley. Still then, Bryce Love. Let's see how Bryce Love does coming back tonight off an injury. Antonio Williams, his first carry. Second, I beg your pardon, on second and two. Uh, it's going to look great on tape, whatever they're wearing. Williams, big stick. What about it? Hey, wish me luck, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will be fun to watch. For you. <laughs> Put your helmet on. Chin strap up. It's about to explode. It's all Iowa. 